सो हेलो एवरी वन हव यू हॉल वेलकम टू द सेकेंड वीडियो ऑफ एडमिशन ऑफ पार्टनर्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट ट्वेल्व मार्क्स क्वेश्चन थ्री क्वेश्चन देर आर थ्री क्वेश्चन इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव कंप्लीटेड अ फुल फ्लैच क्वेश्चन इफ यू डेंट वॉच दैट प्लीज वॉच दैट इफ नॉट यू वॉन्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द question so the question is on the board you can see that and read the question with me so they have given sujatha and sanjotha are partners sharing profit and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2 so they have given normal balance sheet and sorry so they have given the balance sheet and when sangeeta got admitted Sangeeta got admitted on 1st April 2016, and next, whatever the she brings capital and also the goodwill, right? So the B the B point is depreciate machinery and furniture. The C point provision for doubtful debts. These are given and prepare revaluation account and partners capital account and also balance sheet. Correct. So we are just going to discuss the questions. i am not going to solve the question so let us start so first thing while starting with the admission of partners we should start with the revaluation account right so what is about revaluation so if asset decreases we will debit that transaction correct so if asset increases we will credit it the in the same way if a liability increases we will debit right if a liability decreases we will credit it so i have already written it you can see on the board correct so did you understand what to do with the revaluation account let us start solving the revaluation account correct so first to solve the revaluation account we need to read the adjustments let us read the first point uh admitted partner brings uh, 60000 capital and 20000 goodwill which is not related to revaluation account we will record it in the partners capital account leave that the second point b point is depreciate machinery and furniture by 10% so if you want to depreciate the machinery and whatever the given furniture where we should look into we should look into the balance sheet correct so look at the balance sheet so what is the amount for machinery they have given 80000 and for furniture it is uh, 40000 so we need to depreciate depreciate means the value of the asset is decreasing correct if asset decreases we will record it in the debit side for how much it is required uh, depreciating so 10% is depreciating for furniture it is 4000 so write 4000 on the debit side for the machinery it is 8000 80000 into 10% is 8000 we should record it in the debit side because the asset is decreasing so the c point provision for doubtful debts the provision for doubtful debts always be on the debit side correct so then the next point appreciate building by 22000 appreciate building by 22000 so what is the value of building in balance sheet it is 1 lakh so now we should appreciate building by 22000 so where we will record the asset is increasing so building so for how much it is increasing for 22000 it is increasing correct okay we credited that next so e point provide 2000 for outstanding salary so what it means outstanding salary means the company didn't pay the salary for its employees correct so it will create a liability for the organization so if it creates liability which means liability is increasing so if liability increases where we will record we will record in the debit side so what so write outstanding salaries of rupees 2000 on the debit side of revaluation account fine so then then what we have 
investments are to be revalued at 50000 revalued at 50000 so what is the value of investments in the balance sheet it is 40000 and we are revaluing at 50000 rupees which means 10000 is increasing the asset is increasing if asset increases we will record it in the credit side right investment 10000 that's it so that's it your revaluation account is prepared just total the credit side and put the value the same value on the debit side and minus everything whatever the balance comes right here and share that balance to old partners to old partners in the old ratio that's it your revaluation account is ready next we'll move towards the partners capital account so in partners capital account we will get four points four things first thing is balance brought down second thing you should look for reserve fund or general reserve in the balance sheet third thing we should share the goodwill and the fourth thing is the revaluation balance so that's it your partners capital account will be ready so for balance brought down how much capital is given so you can look at the balance sheet sujata 1 lakh 20 thousand sanjota is 80 thousand and new partners capital is 60,000 write the balance brought down and put the amounts next in new partners column nothing will come just don't scratch just leave that then uh, we should look for reserve fund or general reserve in the balance sheet liability side so if we have any reserve fund or general reserve we should share it to the old partners like this by reserve fund or general reserve whatever amount given into old ratios old ratios of partners so then whatever amount comes we should share it correct that's it next 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 the third thing is goodwill so we should carefully read the goodwill adjustment because uh, the question may specify of goodwill also correct so here of goodwill is not given just share the goodwill so goodwill is 20,000 towards for one fifth share the future profit goodwill amount is withdrawn by old partners if it is given off of goodwill is withdrawn by old partners then you should divide it divide the goodwill by two that's it so here it is 20,000 correct if of goodwill is given just share the 10,000 that's it share the 10,000 half of the goodwill that's it if nothing means uh, nothing is given just share full goodwill to old partners so here goodwill whatever given amount old ratios share that that's it correct next the fourth thing revaluation balance write it down and total it and same total in the debit side also so just write to balance carry down the same amount correct that's it your partner's capital account is ready correct so we are moving towards the balance sheet balance sheet the first thing what is given in the balance sheet we have cash so leave cash uh, don't write anything in the amount column just write cash and leave that blank correct so next thing we have stock you write the stock if we have done anything in the revaluation account look uh, which side we have done if it is in the opposite side which means we are recording it in the credit side of the balance sheet which means for your understanding only this is as a side just i'm mentioning it as credit side so if you are writing in the credit side let us uh, take the example of stock stock is in the credit side correct so for stock we have done something in the revaluation account in the debit side is it in the opposite side yes just minus those right so in the same way if we get on the same side like let me explain here we have something yeah land and building correct land and building is in the credit side we have something done in the revaluation account on credit side this is right so credit side and credit side both the sides are same just add it if it is in the opposite side we will minus that if it is in the same side we will add that that's it simple tricks correct 
and the stock is done right so debtors if you have done anything in the revaluation account just if it is in the obviously it will be in the opposite side so just minus that so furniture machinery the remaining balance sheet you should prepare and uh, we won't get the reserve fund in the balance sheet because we already shared it in the partners capital account and write the partners capital as this balance correct that's it your balance sheet will be prepared right so let us move towards the second question which is from 2018 question paper i think just let me check that so it is uh, okay sorry so it is on the 2019 paper here we will just discuss the adjustments and remaining everything you might have understood right now so just we will discuss the adjustments right so you can like you can read the question on the board once and let us start so the first point the first adjustment says what is it uh, shamant brings Shamant brings uh, in one lakh as his capital and sixty thousand as his goodwill. Correct. Leave that. We won't. We don't have anything to do in the revaluation account. That's it. Plant is to be appreciated to one lakh twenty thousand. So the B point. Plant is to be appreciated to one lakh twenty thousand. What is the value of plant in the balance sheet? It is one lakh. So how much is increasing? Twenty thousand is increasing. Where we will record? We will record it in the credit side because if asset increases, we will record it in the credit side. That's it. Next, the value of building is also appreciating by ten percent. So how much is the value of building? So in the balance sheet, they have given one lakh fifty thousand, which means ten percent means. One lakh fifty thousand into ten percent, it is fifteen thousand getting appreciated. So we will credit it. That's it. Correct. Next, stock is found overvalued by five thousand. Stock is overvalued by five thousand. So what is the value of stock here? It is forty thousand. So which is forty thousand and. Which is shown as overvalued by five thousand. This value, the forty thousand, whatever given in the balance sheet, is overvalued by five thousand. Which means we should reduce that. So we should reduce that. Automatically, the asset is decreasing. Correct. So this five thousand, where where we will record it? We will record it in the debit side of the revaluation account because asset is decreasing. So they have overvalued it. We should less that amount. Correct. So if we less that, we will. So the asset will decrease. So if asset decreases, we will debit that. That's it. Did you understand? Next, a provision for doubtful debts. Obviously, the provision for doubtful debts on debtors it will be always on the debit side of revaluation account. That's it. That's it. The adjustments are over. You you can. Right, prepare the partners' capital account and balance sheet also. Right. Next, in the textbook we have a question. So let us take that also. We'll just discuss the adjustments and we will wind up this admission of partners. With this, you can just a second. You can read. The question on the board and it's looking messy. Just adjust that, right? So look at the adjustments. We are not going to touch any part of the question. Just adjustment. The first point is uh, capital and uh, goodwill. So we are not doing in the revaluation account. It will be in the partners' capital account. Correct. Capital we will record it to the. Person who ever admitted got admitted, and goodwill will share it to the old partners. That's it. If it is of goodwill, take the half of the goodwill and share it to old partners. That's it. 
Correct. So the second point is plant is to be appreciated to one lakh twenty thousand. So plant is given as one lakh rupees and twenty thousand is increasing. Just write twenty thousand on the credit side of the revaluation account. Next, and the value of building is to be appreciated the same. We whatever we discussed in the previous question, stock overvalued. The previous question same. Uh, a provision for doubtful debts. This is also straight away debit side of the revaluation account. The fifth point is important. Creditors were unrecorded to the extent of thousand. So the creditors were unrecorded to the extent of thousand rupees. So what is the value of creditors in the balance sheet? So it is given as fifty eight thousand. Correct. Fifty eight thousand given in the balance sheet. But here they are saying creditors were unrecorded to the extent, which means they didn't record that transaction for thousand rupees. If we record that, what will happen? The creditors will increase. Correct. So just we will add that fifty nine thousand will be there. Correct. In the balance sheet, we should write fifty nine thousand. The liability. Increasing creditors are increasing, right? So if the creditors or liability increases, where we will record? Where we will record? We will record it in the debit side for thousand rupees, right? Creditors in the debit side and write thousand rupees. That's it. So the third question is also done. So if you have any doubts, you can ask through instagram and if you have any suggestions to me you can leave it in the comment so for first question uh, left a link in the description you can watch that and that's it thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video if you like the video please share and subscribe bye bye